Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As shown in the previous lesson, you can edit the individual work availability schedules of selected work resources in a project file. These scheduling changes are deviations made from a selected base calendar, like the standard calendar or the night shift calendar. These are the base calendars you select when initially creating a project file to set the default work availability schedule for the project. Sometimes you may need to create a new base calendar for ease of use in your project file. For example, you may choose to use the standard calendar for your project file since the majority of your work resources will use that as their default work availability schedule. However, assume you also used a pool of part-time people or work resources who only had a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. work schedule availability at all times. In this case, you may want to create a new base calendar you can assign to each resource when they are entered into the resource sheet, so you will not have to individually adjust each resource's work schedule availability. This can be a real time saver, as you can select a base calendar directly from the resource sheet view for the work resources that you enter. That way you won't need to adjust each resource's work schedule individually. To create a new base calendar, click the Change Working Time button in the Properties button group on the Project tab in the ribbon to open the Change Working Time dialog box. This dialog box lets you change the working time for selected resources, change the default base calendar used for the current project, and create new base calendars. To create a new base calendar, Click the Create New Calendar button within the dialog box. Doing this opens the Create New Base Calendar dialog box where you enter the name to give to the calendar into the Name text box. You can either create an entirely new base calendar or select an existing base calendar to use as the basis for your new base calendar. If you choose to use a copy of another calendar as the basis for your new calendar, select the name of the calendar to copy from the drop-down within this dialog box. After making your choices, click the OK button to continue. In the Change Working Time dialog box, the base calendar you created appears. Its name appears in the For Calendar box at the top of this dialog box. Use the Work Weeks tab to set the new default work week schedule for this base calendar. You can also set any base days off on the Exceptions tab if necessary. After editing the work availability schedule for the calendar, click the OK button in the Change Working Time dialog box to save the new base calendar. At this point, you can select the name of this new base calendar from the Base Calendar drop-down wherever that choice appears within your project file, like within the Resource Sheet view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.